Hello, and welcome to Oathbreaking News, your Oathbreaker news source brought to you by the Signature Spellbomb. In this episode, we will be covering the newly announced Secret Lair Summer Super Drop series that was announced on May 25th, 2020, and how these new drops will affect the game and the format. Just a quick reminder, if you like what we do, then you can help us out by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Yesterday, WotC announced five new Secret Lair drops that will be released from June 1st to June 5th. The drops are as follows. June 1st, there will be a full sleeve The Tattoo Pack Secret Lair drop. On June 2nd, we will have Can You Feel with a Heart of Steel Secret Lair drop. On June 3rd, we'll have the Path Not Traveled Secret Lair drop. And on June 4th, we'll have Mountain Go Secret Lair drop. And finally, on June 5th, we'll have Ornithological Studies. So now I'm going to go through the drops one by one, and we're going to look at their cost and then their potential value to game players. The June 1st drop, Full Sleeve the Tattoo Pack, contains five cards that have tattoo-themed artwork. The five cards are Spell Pierce, Blood Artist, Eternal Witness, Pithing Needle, and Blink Moth Nexus. This Secret Lair pack will include a code for card art sleeves based on Pithing Needle, and a code to receive one non-foil copy of each card in full sleeve for Magic Online. The total price for this Secret Lair bundle will be $29.99. If you were going to buy these cards individually, the cheapest Spell Pierce would cost you 27 cents. The cheapest Blood Artist would cost you about $3.68. Eternal Witness would be $3.95. Pissing Needle would be $2.43. And the cheapest version of Ink Moth Nexus would be $12.60. So, if you add all of these different card values together, the cheapest cost to get all of these cards would be $22.93. Now, while that is lower than the cost of this secret layer, you must bear in mind that this is unique art to this printing in this secret layer. I would suggest Magic players like myself, who are budget builders, who are focused on value, maybe not invest in this product. I also am not a fan of this particular set's aesthetic. The June 2nd Secret Lair, Can You Feel with a Heart of Steel, contains alternate art Arcbound Ravenger, Dark Steel Colossus, and Walking Ballista. This pack also includes a code for Arcbound Ravenger sleeves on Magic Arena, and one non foil copy of each card on Magic Online via code. The total cost for this secret layer is $39.99. If purchased individually, an Arcbound Ravenger would be cheapest at $5.75. A Dark Steel Colossus would cost you $6.62. And a Walking Ballista would run you $27.73. The cost of the cards, if purchased at their lowest price on TCG Player, would be $40.10 keeping this secret layer pretty close to in line as if you wanted to buy these cards individually, making it a pretty good deal. I actually do enjoy the art on these more than I do on the full sleeve tattoo ones. On June 3rd, we will have the Path Not Traveled secret layer. It's going to include four alternate art Planeswalker cards, which is a boon to our format. We'll get a Johnny Steadfast, Damari Raid, Cameo Field Researcher, and Veraska Golgari Queen. This set also contains one code to redeem on Magic Arena for a Johnny Steadfast card sleeves, and one code for one of each card in Magic Online. This bundle is also $39.99. If purchased individually, a Johnny Steadfast would be $7.20. Domri Raid would be $2.30. Tamiyo Field Researcher would be $6.07. And Veraska Golgari Queen would be $3.23. I am quite taken with our Veraska Golgari Beauty Queen art we have here. The total cost if we purchase these singles is $18.80. It is my personal opinion that if you don't care about blinging out your deck and you're not 
taken with the striking art on these cards, then I would not pick up this bundle. On to the June 4th bundle, we have Mountain Go. It contains four alternate art lightning bolts, each in different striking art. It also contains an arena code for lightning bolt sleeves and a magic online code for one non-foil copy of each card in its new striking art. This Zeus-style bundle of lightning bolt cards will run you $29.99. If you were to purchase four lightning bolts at their current value, they would run you $1.43 each, or approximately $5.72. While his lightning bolt is a staple card of almost every red deck, and having four would allow you to slot them into separate Oathbreaker decks you might want, I'm not sure that this is worth the value. Again, if you really love the art, go ahead and pick it up. On to our final day of this Secret Layer Super Drop, we have Ornithological Studies on June 5th. This Secret Layer Drop will include the following cards. Swan Song, Birds of Paradise, Gilded Goose, Baleful Strix, and Swan Song. This bevy of beautiful bird art cards will be $29.99 in this bundle. If you were to purchase these singles individually, then Swan Song would cost you $6.86. Birds of Paradise would cost you $6.23. Gilded Goose would cost you $2.44. Baleful Strix would cost you $3.49. And finally, Dovescape would cost you $1.07. If we were to purchase all these singles, the total cost would come to $20.09. Again, if you love the alternate art, and you're okay with having one of these cards in your Oathbreaker deck, then this might be a good bundle to you. As a budget player myself, I'm not entirely sure it's worth the value. As a final option, if you're interested in getting all five Secret Layer bundles, you will also get one free fetch land if you purchase all five bundles at a cost of $169.95. If we add all of our singles up from all of our different bundles, we get an estimated value of $107.64. With the addition of a fetch land that's going to add an additional $38.56 to $89.63 in value to our bundle. So if you're lucky enough to get the right fetch land, then your bundle will more than pay for itself, but if you're not, you're going to come just short. So again, this comes down to whether or not you're in desperate need of these singles, and you're willing to just get them as are, or if you desperately want to bling out your deck with this new art, I'll leave that choice to you. I, however, as a budget builder, probably will not be partaking in this particular drop series. Now that we have provided you with information and we've done the math, we would love to hear your opinion on the secret layer drops that are coming up the beginning of this next week. Please provide your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, then please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and to turn on notifications so that you can be the first to see our Oathbreaking News updates. We also have merchandise. If you want to show your support, please check out our new Mother of All Oathbreaker merchandise, that was inspired by our Jaya Ballard deck tech over on the other side of the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash signature spell bomb. And again, a huge thank to our viewers. I can't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't. Thanks again, and I hope I don't see you in the headlines.